This is a customer log, a nine foot white pine. And uh, what we're doing is splitting it. So what that means is, instead of him paying me to saw it, we'll saw on halves. We'll split the yield from it. My half of this wood will be going on the side of the kiln. I need to finish putting the siding on. That's about the only thing I can think of I can use this for. But uh, on this first pass, we're gonna come up here on top, get rid of all these knots. Uh, this came from a golf course. My buddy that's the farmer, he's retired. He works at a golf course a few days a week and they take stuff down all the time. So this was headed to the burn pile, so we saved it by doing that. But since these limbs wouldn't cut too flush here to the log, my first pass, we should be able to get rid of all this. And if I do this just right, the debarker will ride on this side right here. So we'll go ahead and square this up and cut it into six inch cants and then work those down into one by sixes. So it should go pretty fast here. Not really exciting stuff, but a little something different here on the channel.
All right, guys, that was my first, uh, not really major mistake with this mill, but uh, first time I had to stop the engine from running. There's a little pin that holds up that board return when you're not using it. And I didn't think when you are using it just to pull it out to get more clearance. And uh, that ended up biting me on that cut right there. I had to cut the engine off and pull that pin. And I made a little kerf down here at the bottom where it dug in a little bit where I had to recontinue my cut. Not a big deal, I'm not really worried about that. But, one more thing to learn here with this mill, a lot to learn. So much more going on than the other mill. You know, this stuff is automated, everything, just push button. And the 35, I was, you know, reaching everywhere operating that thing, so I'm still trying to get used to this. So bear with me, we'll learn it here, guys, eventually. Put enough airs on this machine, I'll get a lot faster on it, I'm hoping as well. And if you're wondering why I'm cutting kind of slow on this pine, that's called that nine degree blade. Uh, people, some people love the nine degree blade. I can't stand it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the uh, seven degree blades. I love using those things. They always cut so well for me, never have failed me. And when I first started sawing, I was using 10 degree and nine degree blades and I had a lot of issues there before I finally went to sevens. I've never looked back as far as that goes. But that nine degree blade came with a mill, so I thought I'd just, you know, use it up and get the most out of it before I discard it. I don't even have a grinding wheel to fit that. So now we're at the point to where the AccuSet has uh, set up two six inch camps here. That's what I love about that AccuSet. It figures from the bottom of the bed up. You know, the simple set went down, this goes up. So you know what's on the bottom of your cant right here when you're cutting. Really nice feature right there, really nice. And one more thing, people's been asking where the cat's at. She didn't go anywhere. She's right here. I actually had her locked in the wood shop while I was sawing her. I didn't realize she was in there. She got kind of mad at me for that. So, uh, Mama Cat is still around. Thank you.